Ever since I used that uh, psychologytoday.com to find the, and that's one of the main, main questions that we get on the text, that believe it or not. That is the number one question. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I said that what a hard time I had finding, this is a few years ago, at least five maybe, uh, finding a, a therapist. Yeah. And you would think it'd be pretty easy, but it wasn't. Like a lot of them weren't calling back, weren't, you know, so anyway. Nobody calls back anymore. Yeah. Contractors, uh, therapists, nothing, yeah. nobody calls back. Everyone's Every, rich. They don't need like, business. <laughs> nobody yeah, wants we're like, it. We're not money. accepting, you know, we're no not doctors, accepting new people, yeah. whatever. Or now the big thing is like they only do telehealth, which is Ugh. dumb. Yeah. Which is, you know, a therapist over Zoom, basically, no, which doesn't work for me because some, someone's always home at my house. Yeah. Kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah. Do you think they had caller ID and they're like, oh, this guy's too far gone? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In fact, I think that's how my number comes up. Yeah. <laughs> too, too far, far gone. gone. <laughs> yeah. You know how that number comes up? It says potential spam. Yeah. Or whatever. Right, right. Too far gone. Yeah, mine just Do not up. answer. Too far <laughs> gone. Send straight to voice. So anyway, a listener hit us up and uh, said, hey, try this website, psychologytoday.com. And I did. Yeah. And it was great. I've used it twice now. Right. Found a therapist mm-hmm. both times. Anyway, so ever since I did that, now I get these emails, links to articles or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I, most of it's like delete, delete, delete. I thought this one said masturbating, so I clicked on it. Oh, oh yeah. But it says right. master dating. Oh, master dating. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. this thing, Psychology Today, get a big write-up about it. I thought of Greg because Greg is, is so- masturbating? No, it's master dating. <laughs> right. I and I thought of Greg because, you know, Greg will not go to a restaurant by himself. No. He's too worried <laughs> about being judged and right. looking weird. It's so very, he'll make up a whole thing about, like, I'm in town on business or hi, whatever. I've never been here before. Yeah. What, what, what's the local scene like? Do you speak and English? Master dating, <laughs> master dating has nothing to do with going out with other people. It's about going on dates by yourself. And the idea is that you spend quality time alone to get to know yourself better. Okay, but you have to do it out in public? You can't just... Yes. So <laughs> it says here, I'll, I'll, this is right from the article, whether you go to a movie, restaurant, or the park, it's about making quality time for yourself and since some people can't stand being alone, master dating can help them feel more comfortable doing things alone so they don't feel like they always need a partner to feel happy and fulfilled. Ah. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess I could try to date myself. What a stupid name. I mean, you always put yeah. out. Master dating. You know what I mean? That's you're a true. Sure, you're a sure thing. And you know what you like. Yeah. yeah. No one will judge you're you. You're a cheap date. Yep. Sounds stupid to me. It's a form of <laughs> self-care that will Ugh. help you figure out your strengths, values, and goals as well as your weaknesses and triggers. Sounds like made of crap. Yeah, sounds like a bunch of- Sure does. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we got to write an article. You got any ideas? You know what yeah. uh, We'll yeah. throw self-care in there. Yeah. It's all the people who feel crazy because they're alone, and they're making mm. them feel better. Yeah, mm. Like, right. some people are very comfortable with being alone. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You know, I love alone time. Hell yeah. I like alone time a lot. Um, I don't like- the idea of going out to a movie alone or a restaurant alone. Oh, that sounds awesome. Yeah, or I'm with you. Traveling alone. Like, being at home alone is fine. Being at home alone. What's the outside? big deal about Rules. going to a movie? Alone? Outside. Just going to a movie would be fine. It's like super depressing. <laughs> Why? <laughs> like when you're at a restaurant and you see a table of yeah, one, it's like, like oh, it's great. Oh, I feel sad. bad for that person. Right. Well, that's, see, that's you. <laughs> I'm saying, but like they don't—they probably they don't, don't feel like that. Yeah, yeah. you're putting that on them. Yeah, they're, I'm putting that on them, and then fine. I'm also—if that was me, I would put it on myself. But yeah, they're picturing themselves in that situation. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And they, they know it's, that's what. But like on your feeling. own timetable, menace, and like wherever you want to go, like, a guy yeah. who doesn't like to wait for anything. Yeah, but that's—I that's, would think that would that would be I, great. I like having people around. You sure, can't, you can't go sit at like Chipotle and have a bowl by yourself. And it's not no, like no, that's suicidal. It's not like, suicidal. It's like we're talking about that be your all the time. Like, but like every once yeah. in a while, like if it's just you and you go and you know, I'd rather eat it in a... my car by myself. See, <laughs> See to me, in a weird way, yeah, but in, it, in you... a weird way, like for you and for Greg, like in a way, to me, that is sad. No, you know, no, it's... because you're putting on the thing uh, where, and you do it a lot, where you say. You're, I'm worried, or Greg's worried about other people judging us. No, I'm saying for myself, in my own mind, how I feel is depression. Yeah, like, and and I'm I don't care what anybody else thinks. That also I, I feel sad. Uh, it makes me feel lonely for some reason. I know, and that, yeah, and because I, I get joy about <laughs> I get joy uh, talking with other people and being sure. around other people. I understand that. But the, on a one-off, mm-hmm. we're even talking like on a one-off situation. Mm-hmm. You said you'd rather sit in your car. Yeah. yeah. The fact that you are unable to do that, unable to do that, like in any situation, to me, is yeah, I mean, it's it seems kind of sad. Like you're denying yourself such pleasure. It's just odd. How I is think. that even pleasurable? <laughs> it's great. Uh, that's the yeah. thing. Like, <laughs> the most recent example <laughs> yeah. I can think of is I had an appointment and I was way too early, like an, over an hour. So I went out, got a bagel and a mm-hmm. cup of coffee. And I'm thinking. 
how can I make this hour go by so fast? Because I don't know what to do with myself. Yeah. Like, why am I just going to sit in this coffee shop for an hour <laughs> alone? Maybe. How lame. Have it's, a second scone. So lame. Uh, no, it's just so stupid. Go nuts. Have more than and one And then cup after of that, you're like, okay, good. An hour must have gone by, right? No, no. that was eight minutes. Yeah. Crap. Damn. What Damn. am I going to do now? <laughs> I, I mean, I wonder what the... Um, I wonder what the psychology is on that, though. I'd be curious, like somebody who, like, knows, the, like a psychologist, like mm-hmm. some kind of actual therapist, like what they would say about, like, is that right. the, because it would be interesting. Although, if I had a week alone at home, I would be more than fine with that. Yeah. Also, time alone yeah. is better when you have somebody. It's like a job, right? Like when you have a job and you have some time off, you're able to appreciate it more than if you are unemployed. And don't know when you're going back to work. Yeah, well, that's not enjoyable. Right? I know, but like I've learned that when you have this, because like you will go back to work, you will go back to work at some point. Like when people mm-hmm. are unemployed, I've realized this through my own experience a number of times. Yeah. Mm. But like you will go back to work and you should enjoy, while it's not like the most enjoyable time of your life, unless, and then we've all been in this situation, well, I've been in this situation, Ravy has, mm-hmm. I don't know of anybody else. Where we still had some time left on a contract and they had to pay us out. <laughs> no, I've so never it's been basically in, a paid vacation in that situation. You know, like that rules. Yeah, that yeah. would. That's rule. the best. But even still, like for me, I wasn't able to enjoy it because I was already What's looking. Next? Yeah, for the next thing. Of like when you know you're going back to something, it makes that more enjoyable. So in this situation, like if you, uh, menace, you're married, Greg, you're basically married. Mm-hmm. Um, the the alone time shouldn't be weird because like you're going you back to, to somebody it's not like this is endless thing and you don't know when you're going to have that companionship in your life again right it could be the association though like if he grew up eating with his family all the time and people all always around it's a communal event for him so yeah. eating with people around when they're not there it's very noticeable yeah and also i greg brought up a good point mad boring by yourself it's just boring <laughs> you know <laughs> It is. See what 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 would uh, uh, a psychiatrist? What would they say about that? I'd be I'd be really interested. Now yeah. try this no. scenario without your phone. Imagine you're oh. like, what are you going to do? Oh, that God. Menace, that's prison. What? That would be torture for you. Yeah, state yeah. secrets will be spilled. Right, mm-hmm. you'd have to just walk around. And anyway, oh, I'd finish my meal in so on five this, seconds. On this master <laughs> dating thing, they say it can also be helpful for your dating life since it's hard to find the right person when you don't even know yourself very well. Mm. Oh, oh, wow. wow. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know myself. That's like the nicest way to try to break up with somebody. Like, you know what? I, you know, I just really need this time to work on myself. Right. Yeah, I need to find myself. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, how can I love somebody else if I can't even figure out how to love myself? Right. It's not you, it's myself. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> right.